Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. So, um, I just finished recording the ninth part of the series. Now I'm recording the tenth episode, uh, obviously. And uh, I said that we're going to be adding some finishing touches, and that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So, I'm going to show you, first of all, a really cool effect that, you know, I always like to use it. Um, I haven't seen it in many places it's my idea it's my original idea of well at least the method of creating it um but i'm sure that there are plenty of copies well not copies because I, I mean i haven't showed it anywhere but plenty of similar ideas and, or maybe even better ways to create it but yeah so let's uh right get right in get right into this tutorial so I'm gonna first show you what we're gonna be doing. So what we're gonna be doing first is when we click on this, a little line is gonna appear from the bottom to show us that we have uh, marked it. So it's obvious something like oh no, uh, they don't have it here. I thought they did, but they don't. Okay, it's something like this line, but it's gonna be a little bit more animated. Well. It's really hard for me to explain. Oh yeah, there we go, about this line. But we're gonna animate it in a way that I think I haven't seen anywhere. And I know why I haven't seen it. It's because sometimes it can be like really laggy. Okay, um... What we're gonna do here is... Create a search bar input type equals type equals text and then I think it was uh not active like selected I'm not sure enable oh yeah enable I think it was enabled I'm try to enable background color red it's, no it's not enabled active it's only when you click it nope selected what was it? I'm checked. I don't. It might be checked. Oh no. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, this is really embarrassing. I'm gonna open up a new window. I'm gonna move it here. So, um, I'm gonna Google how to target selected inputs in HTML. Remember. <laughs> Google is always your best friend. It says selected here. It honestly says selected. But it didn't work for me. Selected. So select. Select. I, I don't actually I don't even think that I've tried it. Oh no, that's that's for jQuery. And CSS. F oh, focus. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm genuinely stupid. Focus. Yeah, okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to say border bottom. Uh, three pixels solid. Okay, but we all... Uh, I'm going to show you the effect. I was not animated at all. And then when you also look at it, you can see how it goes, you know. All, um, come on. It goes outside the input source. So what we're going to do is we're going to say padding, 19 pixels, 15, 15 pixels, and then 19 minus 3, 16 pixels. So, um, let's try that out what did I do? 19 minus 3 hmm. uh, well uh, let's try 17 that obviously works okay um it still works but you can see how I don't really like this border here on the right so we're gonna remove that uh border right uh, border right none there we go that looks really good. Obviously, it looks uh, really good, but we can animate it. So, uh, actually, I can just copy this. And this is what I mean when I say that it's laggy. You see that? You see that? Yeah. 
you see it. It's because it first adds a border of one pixel, then it adds a border of two pixels, and then finally it adds a border of three pixels, which can be really laggy. Well, not laggy, but like slow. Although, well, let's try with 0 0.1 seconds. Although, the faster that is, the less noticeable it is. Well, I mean, that's almost if we don't have it. Well, no, it's still better. Let's see this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, this was the effect that I was talking about. Obviously, a lot of people use it. It's just I don't think they use it this way, as you can see why. But, uh, I don't know. It looks good to me, honestly. Um... That's what else you can add. So one thing that I thought of adding was drop box shadow, but honestly, I don't really think it's gonna look good because it's it, it kind of has um let me let, let me get closer to the microphone. Uh, it kind of has this flat feeling the whole website. Um, and if you just add this box shadow, uh, I think it kind of ruins the idea. And then what we're also gonna do is, you know, make this toggle. So we're gonna be toggling that menu in the next episode, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. What? So what? Also, I think uh, we should do is. Oh, this looks really cool. Okay, um, the one thing that I noticed is you can see here there's a border radius of, like, I think three pixels. So we can do that. It's pretty simple, no problem at all. So we're going to add three pixels here, three pixels here, three pixels here, and here. Um, so we're going to say border radius, uh, border top left radius three pixels. Okay, let's copy this. Because there is WebKit and Moz prefixes for this. So WebKit. What? WebKit. Moz. And then border radius. Bottom left. Three pixels. Let's copy this. WebKit. What? WebKit. What? WebKit. Come on. What? Um, I'm just gonna copy this. I don't want to copy the spaces. Moss. Okay. Looks good. Now I also have to add for the search button. So, border radius. Top. Oh, uh, no. Border radius top uh, right three pixels let's copy this webkit and oh come on what webkit webkit moth oh did it work okay it worked and then one last final one is border radius bottom right three pixels let's copy this webkit and then moss does it work it works perfectly i think that looks really good and the final thing that i want to do for this tutorial is change the color of this so this is like Honestly, I don't even know what color that is. Let's check it out. Oh, the border is one 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 a a. That's interesting. Oh, I think that's gonna be darker. It is darker, and I don't think it looks better. Uh, it definitely doesn't look better. Um, I think this looks much nicer. Placeholder color for you for it. Well, yeah, but that's when we type isn't it? Isn't there a way to see uh, 
vision, but what the hell? Um, box shell is blue. That, that, that can't be right. Oh, it uses... Oh my god. It uses box shadow as an underline, not border, radi border bottom. That also works. Um, uh, I want... I want to target this text here to find the color of it, but can I see it to do that? Color 4848. It's possible. I will try it. So, CSS browser support. Oh, sorry. Show your name. Hope. Place holder. Okay, so. I'll copy this. Okay. Uh, search bar input placeholder color four eight four eight four eight. Try this out. Nothing. Huh. What if we do WebKit? Because we are in Chrome. Is it input placeholder? It is input placeholder. Oh, yeah, okay. We can find out the color. No, it, it's definitely not this. What if we can try is like 999. Oh, uh, no, 999. Uh, I don't know, 777. Okay, let's try a a a like one of the last time. I think seven seven one seven was closer. Yeah, okay, that, I think that like, looks pretty decent. Uh, so what we can do is just copy this here and basically remove the prefixes and add new ones. So then it's moz. Actually, so it's what moss like this, and then it's with the same but with one colon. I mean, a lot of prefixes for placeholder, and then it's ms input placeholder. What? And obviously we're adding the prefixes to make it cross browser um, to make it look the same on every browser okay let's refresh and there we go yeah boom I th I'm really liking the results of our website I think it looks amazing um you know we type in something like Varna or something it obviously doesn't do anything but that's up to you uh, learn PHP or, or if you don't know it um, if you do know it you know what to do uh, but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, this is gonna be it um, yeah so I wanted you guys to comment down below what you guys want to see from me in the next episode and yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one Peace.